headliners. Here's a picture from this week's Lib Dem conference. But what does CDCR stand for? Is it uh, Clegg's dandruff causes riot? <laughs> <laughs> Is it Clegg demands cardboard rain? <laughs> 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 Is it Cameron dies, Clegg rejoices? <laughs> Is it uh, Clegg displays currency remaining? <laughs> <laughs> Is it because they're in Liverpool? Is it in fact, calm down, calm right down? <laughs> <laughs> Is it Celine Dion combusts reaction? <laughs> I'm gonna go for Clegg, David Cameron's rent boy. <laughs> Small amount of skirting around the issue which Kevin has cut through <laughs> quite dramatically. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Cranberry's definite cystitis remedy? <laughs> Is it... Why would they use that photograph? <laughs> that? Like, I don't know how bad was Clegg's cystitis before that. I don't know, but it must have been pretty bad. I mean... <laughs> now, I've got it, Dara. Yeah. Is it conference disco concludes with river dance? <laughs> No, what is the correct answer? Is it um, Clegg defends coalition rule? Indeed it does. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, the answer I was looking for was Clegg defends coalition rule. This is the news that the Lib Dem leader Nick Clegg has faced criticism at the Lib Dem conference from party activists who are plagued by self-doubt and anxious about the party's future. But he's defended his role in the coalition and told party members to hold their nerve. How have the Lib Dem party members been reacting? Oh, they're furious! <laughs> they've been shaving their beards off and wearing their sandals without their socks, and they've been, <laughs> and they've been writing Clegg is a traitor on the wall of the conference centre in their own hummus. <laughs> Actually, it's not how the Liberals have, have uh, reacted, it's how the Conservatives have reacted. They've been watching the television all week thinking, why the work experience people got their own conference? <laughs> <laughs> That's the, um... It's not actually going terribly well for the Lib Dems because Clegg's uh, poll ratings now show that he is more popular with the opposition than with his own side, which makes him the Robert Green of politics. <laughs> <laughs> There's a party activist described him as a mini-me conservative uh, when he went to it. And another party so it said, I would trust you with my life, but can I trust you with my party? <laughs> it's a rather screwed up sense of priorities, to be honest. <laughs> It's only Lib Dems at the end of the day, you know? <laughs> but apparently it's half their support has gone, isn't it? And they're all saying it's because they've supported these spending cuts. They're basically talking that we, they're spending, you know, cutting too quickly and we'll now go into this double-dip recession. And you're thinking, double-dip? You know, that is a term that is only ever used by economists and greedy people with nachos. <laughs> <laughs> If the support are losing, surely that's just people who came to them from Labour anyway, thinking, well, if I vote for them, I'm practically voting for Labour. So it's a very clever tactical... What? What? No, wait, no! My master plan! <laughs> Don't go to the... Cons I didn't, you're not allowed to... Oh, you are allowed to do that. Uh, <laughs> What's amazed me is that Nick Clegg seems to be soaking up, even though he's becoming ever more unpopular. How broken do you have to be by your former unpopularity to save it any attention, even if it's negative? That's like a fat, ugly girl being sexually assaulted behind a Lidl and then coming out and going, it's just nice to get the attention. That is the chair Frankie sat in, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally never had those thoughts before. Yeah. I've been... <laughs> <laughs> You're normally like a whimsical comedian, aren't you? <laughs> they were saying that, that Cameron was actually going to turn up at, at the conference as, as a sign of, you know, support. Uh, and then they realised that might be a bad idea. You know, Cameron turning up at the Liberal Democrat conference is a bit like Leona Lewis showing up at the Mobos with Nick Griffin. It's, um... <laughs> It's not really going to cut it. I, I, I like the idea of lots of Tories sneaking into the uh, convention and going, well, we're in a, we're in a coalition now, we might as well take some tuck along and have a day out. And then hear him talk about rescuing the poor and start heckling with quail's eggs. Take that, you liberal. And <laughs> <laughs> that sunglass, you wanker. <laughs> 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 <laughs>